Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. I'm at uh, SAP headquarters today and I'm talking to Brian Patno of Coda Automotive. Brian, you've got a half a car and a full prototype. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit about Coda Automotive and, and your half car. Great, I'd, I'd love to. Um, well, Coda is an all American, all electric car company. We're based in Santa Monica, California. And we're very excited to be here to be showing this car. This car was just shown at the LA Auto Show. Uh, and we will have this uh, at the Consumer Electronics Show. We'll be in the GE booth. And we'll also be showing this soon at NASA at the Kennedy Space Center. So we have a lot of movement, a lot of, lot of high, 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 high level of interest. Um, what makes our car unique and different, it's all about the battery. Um, we have a 34 kilowatt battery, lithium ion, which is 40% larger than our, our competition, for instance, the Leaf. And we also charge twice as fast. We have a 6.6 .6 kilowatt charging station, onboard charging station, onboard charger. Um, so it's, it's very fast, and you can charge this car from zero to 100% state of charge in less than six hours just done under six hours. Um, what also makes us very unique is that we have an active thermal management system. And the reason why that's important is because batteries are like people. We like to be kept at a certain temperature. And so if a battery gets too cold or gets too hot, it loses some of its performance. And so um, this car will, will run at a uh, top speed of 81 miles an hour, uh, but the range of this car is 90 to 120 miles, all weather, all season, which we think is very important. Uh, even, even on highway driving? Highway driving. Highway driving, 80 miles an hour, air conditioning on, um, you can get that kind of range, sure. And the, the reason why this is important is because, you know, most computers, most computer, pardon me, most commuters live within, um, you know, in, there's all kinds of statistics out there, mm. but, you know, more than half, you know, live and drive within 40 miles of work. And so what we envision is that people will, you know, charge at home and then they'll drive to the office and they'll have a level two charger there and they can charge as well. Um, you can also charge as well with an opportunity charger. You can plug it into the wall, a standard wall socket, and um, and that's it. The car will be available uh, for delivery to consumers in the early part of the second half of next year. So I think the June-July time frame-ish, um, and we're excited to be bringing this car to market. It, right now it's about 40% U.S. content. And so, um, which is very exciting. All tier one suppliers, Borg Warner, um, Delphi, um, Lear, uh, UQM, you know, very, very top tier one companies that are supplying components for us. And like in today's market, all cars are globally sourced and they're, all cars are part of a global collaboration where they're all, you know, uh, they're sourced from all over the world. Um, the other thing I'd like to tell you is that we've applied for uh, a DOE grant and we're very excited. Um, we're waiting by the phone. Um, if we get permission to move forward, we'll be putting a battery facility in Columbus, Ohio. So we'll actually be, we'll be building this battery in Columbus. And if that happens, then this car will be, you know, 85, 90% U.S. content. Okay. And how much? Uh, this car has an MSRP of $44,885. Um, after rebates in California, you've got your your federal tax incentive. You've got your $5,000 uh, California state incentive. So you can take $12,500 off the, the the price, if you will, of the car, and the um, the operating car, the operating cost on this car is very low. It's about two cents a mile. Okay, that, that's because it's running on electricity, and I assume also things like you don't have oil changes. That's correct. It has about one seventh of the moving parts of a normal internal combustion engine. So you've got a big motor, you've got an inverter, you've got some some components, but you don't have the normal types of components on a, in, um, a normal ICE. Think of fan belts, alternators, compressors. You know, that type of thing. Yeah. Okay, super. Brian, thanks a million for telling us about Coda. Great, thank you.